Well, you heard it here first, folks. Tucker Carlson has officially announced the new Tucker Carlson Network streaming service. They told you the guys torching Wendy's in 2020 were mostly peaceful. They said that masks worked. They told you the vax was safe. They tried to convince you that Russia blew up its own pipeline. The corporate media lied too much, and it killed them. We're driving to see Julian Assange. Believe me when I wait, tell wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. I should be Down. boycotting Bud Light. Fantastic, Jeff. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> that was amazing. Now, if you're a fan of Tucker but not willing to cough up an extra $9 a month in this economy, don't fret. For now, you can still catch Carlson's interviews on Twitter on X. In fact, a new episode with Kid Rock aired yesterday under the new Tucker Carlson Network name where he asked the country star about his personal relationship with Donald Trump. Let's watch. Trump. You've seen Trump a lot recently. How's he doing? Tough as son of a bitch on the earth. <laughs> like, he's, he's doing great. It's incredible. He's you know, we just got to spend some time times. with him. Yeah. But you seem to be having more fun than anybody in that. I was equation. having I was having fun. You watched that video back and we're walking to the ring and it was looking all tough. You're like, ha <laughs> ha! You're like, this is the greatest day of my life. I loved it. Which was, that was so much fun. Like, it was amazing. I, I love spending time with him, getting to know him, you know, since he became president the first few months, having dinner um, at the White House with him. And from there on, we've just really hit it off. And, you know, I can relate to him in a lot of ways as somebody who might speak out of turn a little bit. Yeah. You say what's on his mind, but, you know, I think if you look at his track record and who he is as a whole, there's a lot more good there than anything. I think people, you know, I could go both ways. I always say with me, you can go on the Internet and you can make me out to be some crazy wild party animal who just has his middle fingers in the air and doesn't care. Or you can be someone who's a single father who loves his family, loves his country, does a lot of philanthropy. It's all there for the taking. And, you know, I try to see the good in people. I haven't always executed that correctly or, you know, on spot. <laughs> But, you know, whatever it is, when I give it, it's it's 100% real. Well, so without, like, betraying the details of your conversations, you've been with the with Trump um, a bunch of times since he got indicted and the world mm -hmm. has kind of crashed in around him. How does he seem? Can't tell. Really? No. I mean, when we're golfing or we're hanging out in, in different scenarios here and there, it's um, his spirits are always up, and he's, he's, he's always talking about this country. He's always talking about this country. My dad is a big Kid Rock fan, so. Michigan. Michigan, Michigan origins. Um, yeah, I, I looked at uh, the Tucker Carlson Network uh, website. It's not just, you know, interviews with uh, famous people uh, like or, or more um, entertainment personalities. There's a debate over aid to Israel that uh, sounds uh, like that'd be worth checking out um, for you slash me slash us slash anyone. Um, what do you think of his uh, trailer? Do you think this is going to be on par for the content that we saw on Fox News, or do you think it's going to go in a different sort of direction? Yeah, I mean, you know, he was questioning a lot of those same things when he was on um, Fox, uh, you know, the kind of scrutinizing um, shibboleths of mainstream media uh, people. You know, Ray, he raised uh, a number of those, some of those things we've examined on our own show on COVID and on foreign policy, you know, dissenting from the orthodoxies of what you find elsewhere in the media. I, you know, I will say this is all coming at a pretty terrible time for uh, for the mainstream media. For um, I mean, Fox is still, if you Fox is, is a corporate is corporate media, but I don't know if you consider consider it mainstream. It's conservative media. They're doing well. MSNBC looks to be doing okay. It's the okay. most popular news show in America. Well, right? Yeah. So I'm not. So that's I'm not disputing that label. It's not if mainstream you wanna... media. It's the most I didn't mainstream say that. media. Well, we, la we can label it however you want. You can okay. say it's mainstream media. That's fine. <laughs> um, it's definitionally mainstream. <laughs> well, it's opposite. I mean, it's oppositional to the current regime in government. That's so was was CNN not mainstream when Trump was in office? You could say it, it wasn't. I would say that it was. <laughs> I would say that both are mainstream It media. doesn't matter. We can say whatever we right. want about it. CNN not doing well at all lately, even with um, what you'd think of as their bread and butter, like war coverage, frankly, their ability to have people on the ground in conflict zones. Um, I think I last checked in on this middle of November, so a couple weeks ago now, and their primetime numbers are like a quarter of what um, Fox's are. Um, even, you know, for Anderson Cooper, for Caitlin Collins, they're getting like, yeah, um, 250,000, no, Fox wins with 250,000, MSNBC 150,000, 
and they have, CNN has an audience that's like a quarter of that. It's just nothing. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, when Mehdi Hassan show the was key canceled, demo, sorry. Um, some people argued uh, that it was a ratings issue and not a content issue, not because he's one of the few um, Muslim hosts that had a pro-Palestinian, or, you know, he, frankly, some people criticize him for not being pro-Palestinian enough, but who simply would talk about things like the ongoing occupation of Palestine or the death tolls or the humanitarian critiques that have been made by a number of uh, humanitarian organizations and the like. Um, and it does look like his um, numbers were not uh, very good. The Post, I mean, relatively speaking, the, the Post reported that his show failed to garner more than 500,000 viewers on November 12th. It hit a low point with just 37,000 viewers in the key 25 to 54-year-old demographic and 411,000 totals, which was behind his rivals at Fox and uh, CNN both, according to Nielsen. But I did see um, Hassan pointing out on Twitter how viral many of his clips do go. And that is true. On social media, on Twitter, on YouTube, I think his clips probably, I mean, this is not empirical, but seem to certainly outperform uh, many of his peers. They're everywhere you look. And I do wonder if what we're seeing is something that uh, Tucker has some insight into, which is that there are different kinds of viewers that aren't being captured by these Nielsen ratings. There are different uh, patterns of consumption that increasingly younger people, which are the prime demographic at this point, are availing themselves of, and does the move to streaming, does the move to Twitter, does the move out, uh, outside of some of these traditional avenues actually enable people to capture really big audiences in a way that aren't being translated by some of this data? Yeah, and it's hard to compare exactly the, you know, who's sitting down in front of their couches watching TV. That, you know, that's what counts a lot for advertisers. Compare that to streaming or compare it to, um, to YouTube and Rumble. Um, but it's hard not to compare it on some level because I like even, even our numbers look pretty, again, it's, it's an apples to oranges comparisons. I'm not saying it's the same thing, but we had like, we had like almost a million people watch a, a rising video yesterday in a 24 hour period. Again, it's not comparing the exact same thing. And that ha we get that all the time. We, we hit a million um, a, a lot. Um, every couple of days, we, we were averaging closer and closer to that threshold. It's a lot of people watching. Yeah. That doesn't mean you know, that they've watched every single second of the entire show all day. So it's not comparing the same thing, but it shows there's just well, massive Well, neither is the interest. Nielsen's rating. Well, right. No, it's, it's checking in at a point of time, <laughs> right. right, and saying, are they watching right now? Right. Yeah. So it, it shows the massive appetite for content that is fresh and independent and a little contrarian and weird sometimes and out there. And that's what we try to deliver, that uh, the mainstream, however you characterize them and whoever you put <laughs> under that category, is failing to deliver. All right. Well, do keep watching. Stick around. We'll have more rising for you right after this.